Hello guys and welcome to another one. This is going to be a quick guide on view distance. So I'm just going to get straight into it. View distance is what allows you to see further in the world. And the further you can see, the more things you can interact with. So if my view distance were to be reduced, I might not be able to see this extra dungeon or this extra inn. So that is why view distance is important because if I can't see them, I can't interact with them. But as long as they are visible on the map, I can interact with them. So, and this works even for activating your wave vessel. So if you do alting, you can activate your wave vessel from just a little bit further just because you have additional view distance. And that's why I usually go into the view distance classes when I start an alt. And you'll see the passive, it is called Eternal Light and it gives you 20% view distance. If you were to go another class like Dragoon or even Druid, you would not have that passive. So you would have less base view distance than the class with 20%. And the 20% is additive. So if you have 400, 20% of 400 would be 80. So you would get 80 more view distance with an additional 20%. Another good thing to use for view distance is the far side portion. And you get it from an alchemist. right here and it costs one super empty bottle and 10 day leaves and gives you an additional 20 percent view distance i'm going to tell you now about the fire pack because we're going to go into equipment and accessible to you as early as tier hmm, let me look what tier fire pack is Because I think it's really low tier. Tier 4. Yeah. Okay. But how you unlock the ability to gain fire packs is you need to talk to this guy. Flame Walker Power. And you give him 50 fire stones. And he will give you your first fire pack. And then through doing dungeons, you will unlock the second fire pack over time as an end of dungeon reward so you would want to put in two fire packs it does not matter the quality because the view distance does not scale with quality so you'll notice i have a broken one and a normal one and they're giving me the same amount of view distance and i'll show you how you check your view distance in here and it is right here so you notice I have 492. Another very basic thing, and you'll get another nice thing from in these places to your shops. They sell the torches, and a torch will give you another 20%. So you'll notice now I have 590 meters of view distance. In the shops, you will find the torches, and you can also find stuff like wow that that feels bad the lanterns and you just need two of these they're very cheap you only need two four thousand gold and you're going to put each in your accessory slot right here and right here and like the fire packs the quality on these don't matter you're not going to have access to any headgear this is a tier 10 item so just having these your far side potions there is also the seeker specialization which i pretty much camp my alts on too and this gives you another 20 percent so with the torch you have a bit of view distance let me show you with and i'll take off the hat to show you just how much view distance is possible and before I forget it, finally, the final place you can get view distance is from your fortress. Or if you upgrade it, it will be called a castle. And the brazier is in here and it is available once every 
22 hours. So I will check how much view distance I have now and I have 850 meters and I will remove this and see 773 and let me double check if I have everything. Yes, it does feel like I do have everything. Mm -hmm. So you can get 750 view distance as early as tier 5 from the Majestic class. And this class can wear any armor and any weapons, wield any weapons. So that is why it is so useful because it has the view distance passive as well. So yeah, I hope that one was easy enough to understand. I will just touch quickly on adornment slots. So the fire pike has what, five adornment slots each. And you can put in adornments that are view distance, that have view distance too. And those would be like the symbol of war. And like the other adornments, this one does not require any quality to use its passive then. So it gives you 2% view distance at any quality. And these can be slotted in your weapons. So let me see if I have the other one. There is one called... Let me look the fey eye no the all seers gem sorry i i just love the the, the name fey eye the all seers gem is the one that gives one percent view distance and you can slot that in your fire pike those are available as soon as tier six so you can definitely try to get those you would get those monsters from summoning scrolls and if you are tier 8 or less is when you could summon them i believe you can't summon them as tier 9 because you only summon tier 7 8 and 9 stuff but that is a conversation for another video i think i've shown everything early game as you level up, you're going to want to change your view distance weapons. Another good option as a view distance weapon is an Ascalon. I don't think I have one though. And that is found in the arena at tier 7 and above. But I would still recommend the Fire Pike because it is pretty much just free. Unless you are already tier 7 and you're just learning about view distance, then you could try your luck in there. But you can also check if you have i should actually show you guys the view distance on seeker and then i will conclude the video there so it is possible to get 928 view distance on your tier 5 and above account with everything activated now you're obviously not going to have this available all the time so 773 750 plus is still amazing that we'll see most things and that would require pretty much everything except the brazier so yeah i hope this one was an educational one guys and take care of yourself